Hi, Caleb and Steve with Brownells here, and we're back again at Rock Island Auction Company, bringing you another cool gun from the vault. And it's no surprise that Steve has dug up an old but cool revolver. So Steve, what do we have? I've got something I'd never heard of, never seen, and that is a revolver built by the London firm Westley Richards. The people that make the double guns, the fine sporting rifles, all the African type rifles. I never knew they made a revolver. Um, this particular revolver is like a 40 caliber, I believe. It is a cap and ball revolver, a percussion revolver. And it is different than any other percussion revolver I've ever seen for various reasons. Um, one thing is, it is double action. When you pull the trigger, this hammer, this side hammer here, starts to move back. You see that? I'm not going to snap it all the way through, but it pulling the trigger will revolve the cylinder and pull the hammer back and fire the gun. Pretty slick. Not only that, but if you, I don't know if I could show you this, but there's a button here. And if I partially pull the hammer back and push that button in, it holds the hammer just above the nipples so you can carry it that way. But yet when you pull the trigger, the button snaps back in and you're ready to fire. Really clever design. Now, obviously there's a lot of quality features on this gun. It's got the, the standard Wesley Richards workmanship on the wood and the metal. Everything is fit very precisely. This grip is amazingly comfortable. And for all you people out there that shoot black powder revolvers, um, take a look at this rammer right here. It's a rack and pinion. So when you want to seat the ball, look at that. You've got the rack moving against the pinion. It snaps back in place, doesn't go anywhere. Really a neat feature. It's got a lever up here, which I'm pretty sure unlocks the forward portion to pull it apart. But uh, I unlocked it and tried to pull it, it didn't come. And there's a, a little lever down here that probably releases another lock right there. I wish I knew a little more about this gun, but since it doesn't belong to me, I can't really use enough force to, to make it happen. But the trigger pull is surprisingly smooth and the gun is surprisingly comfortable, except for the minuscule sights. And of course, you got the logo, Wesley Richards across the top of the barrel here. But just quality through and through. Yeah, let me, uh, let me, let me okay. take a handle on that here, okay. Steve. This is my, my first time actually touching it here, so y'all are getting the raw cut on this one. But uh, yeah, man, that, that is comfortable. And that's about a, a 36 caliber gun. So okay. it's a comparable to a uh, 1851 Colt Navy, for example. Yeah, I mean, everything about it just screams Wesley Richards. Right, and this was made in the 1850s. This was a contemporary of the, of the Navy. But I don't know how many of those were made. Not many for sure. Yeah, this one's labeled, what, 320? Yeah. Yeah, so. Right. Man. And maybe our friends across the pond are more familiar with this design. I don't know. But on this side of the Atlantic, we don't see very many of these at all. But yeah. just a cool, cool gun. And, uh, well, I'd like to thank Rock Island for letting us take a look at it and all the other stuff around here. It's really been fun looking at this one. Really a nice piece of workmanship, just like all their other guns have been over the years. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time when we bring you another gun from the vault.